Hey, what's up YouTube? Chris Gardner here. If you've been around my channel and seen my previous uh, virtual staging video, this one's kind of touching on something along those lines. If you don't want to learn how to stage yourself, there are more and more platforms popping up all the time. This is one I've had a little bit of experience with and I have seen some people asking about it in some forums, so I thought I'd come uh, do a little demo. It's called Virtual Staging AI. And one of the coolest things about it is you can get almost real-time virtual staging completed. You can give your feedback, uh, make some adjustments, and overall get a, a pretty useful product in a very short amount of time. So if you don't know what virtual staging is, maybe you should check out one of my other videos. I'll link them in the description below. So let's just have a quick look at virtual staging AI. So just immediately looking at this, I'm seeing these as prices per month, and this is kind Kind of you know something in between these two is what I pay as a price per picture so it could start from six foes a month that's a little low you might maybe if you only get one one staging client per month you might be able to do with that I would think most professionals will need something in between the 25 and 100 and I guess if you're a professional editor strictly you might even need something like this um, but overall, you know, for the amount of images you're getting and for the price expectation that people tend to have for these virtual staging, virtual staging uh, photos, I think, you know, this subscription price is fairly well supported. So in the interest of full disclosure, um, I'm going to be staging some photos. However, I have been given access to this site by Michael here. He reached out to me, uh, presumably because I have a video about virtual staging on YouTube. But, uh, you know, the opinions I'm sharing here are entirely my own. He didn't ask me to make this. I just thought it would be good for the community since I have seen people talking about, um, you know, this product specifically a lot more lately. So let's uh, get right into it. When you've signed in, you are greeted with kind of a dashboard that looks a little bit like this. You can have folders, which, you know, presumably you would be making a property so you can quickly refer back to, you know, uh, if someone needs a new edit or needs to download their photos again, you should be able to find it pretty quickly through here. Now, Michael first reached out to me in August when I, I had a test, um, and I'll show you that first test, and then I'm going to show you how I think they've made just drastic improvements in the last, you know, four months since I, uh, I had initially looked. So this is a first image I tested, and this one was pretty good. You know, like I was impressed that uh, we have we have the the AI is able to identify where does a wall start and a floor, you know, finish. Um, as you can see by it's projecting shadows onto walls, it's bending the shadows here. And overall, it seems to have gotten the scale half decently. I mean, this bed might have been a little tiny, but uh, one of my first, the first things I had spotted was the quality of these shadows, which I wasn't overly impressed with. But as you'll see, they either consciously or unconsciously, it has been improved, uh, as you'll see by some of the newer stages I've got going on. But here's another anomaly. This is pretty funny. Um, <laughs> you know, two beds stacked together. So obviously this one not usable. You will, I think, have to supervise things like this less since I haven't had this happen to me again. And a third one. Now you'll see over here we have uh, options of changing the room type and the furniture style, which is pretty cool because... Um, you know, you're always dealing with blank rooms, so it's hard for the machine to know what exactly your intentions are with it. And there's even an option when you're starting a new photo to remove furniture. So I haven't really tested the furniture removal feature yet. Now, how about some newer stuff? So this one's pretty good, a little more. Um, this is about four months on the last examples I've shown you, and already I could tell when I first got these results back that the shadows are drastically improved. Um, they've got much more accurate and realistic colors, and I think just everything seems to be more cohesive. So I'm not sure exactly what they've changed, but I definitely have noticed a, sh a change. And you know, that's pretty nice too. So let's see some of the more modern anomalies I found. So here's a good one. Uh, this is a shot from my second shooter, and what we were doing, I wanted to see how it did with staging a kitchen, seeing basically, 
you know, essentially if it would place these kind of things on the counter, which it has. Uh, now my only concern with this is that it is also changing our stove and changing our fridge. Uh, I would probably be able to use a feature where we could lock certain elements from being changed, you know, in the way that we are able to choose what furniture has to be removed. I'd like something that's almost the opposite. I think it could be helpful because as I tried six variations, and every single one of them actually changes our fridge which uh and then you know this one we kept the oven the same but the fridge uh different periodically you'll see that it does make some changes to the color of the existing image so some of these wood tones have changed slightly um i'm not sure what is driving those changes so th those are just little things to look out for but overall you know you can see it's done a great job of making sense of countertops and and what's happening all over here so this is another one highlighting uh, some anomalies. Um, you can see we have a mirror here and it's actually, you know, pretty hard to teach uh, an AI the rela relationship between a mirror and the scene that's around it. So we are not really getting accurate reflections. This is something you would likely get if you hired a professional editor or a professional virtual stager. This is something I pay attention to when I'm doing it myself, but I don't think that is overly pronounced. You know, at least we have some of these colors lining up, but you know, there should be a lamp here, blah, 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 right? So, you know, little things to look out for, but overall, I think that the uh, quality of the product speaks for itself. And, you know, you definitely can't beat the time it takes. So these are some variations on a regular living room, just a mid-century modern style. Now, I do like this. It, it, it really seems to understand that the lighting, the key light is coming from over here. And so you see it's drawing shadows across the couch. We've got front lid over here, it's projecting shadows back there. Uh, so overall, I'm pretty pleased with the way that this AI understands lighting and understands the scene. So given the few changes, but significant changes that I've seen in a few short months, I wouldn't be surprised if, if what I've already outlined in this video is going to be improved in, in a fairly short amount of time. Okay, so now let's have a look at how this all works, start to finish, if you were doing it yourself. So if we were starting a new property, we might make a new folder here. This is just a test. So let's pick a picture of a room. So we've got dragged in. We do have the option to remove existing furniture and it's gonna look around, it's not gonna find anything. But if there was something in there, it would come up like this, and it gives you this little cloud that you can kind of select and mask things out. Now, we're not gonna do that because I don't wanna confuse the system. Let's call this a bedroom. And we have these uh, selections of furniture stylings. Now it does recommend standard as the best result. So let's have a look at one, and we're not gonna speed this up at all. You'll see just how quick this goes. Oh, and you know what? This is the first time I've seen this where I'm now queued and not. Um... Oh, here we go. Starting already. So queue for 10 seconds. And that felt like a long time compared to what I've seen already here. And of course, in the context of using a third party, uh, you know, that's not an AI platform, you're typically waiting till next business day. So, you know, me complaining about 10 seconds, uh, 30 seconds is negligible, I would say. So we got our first result and then it's going to populate three results. Let's go have a look as soon as we see three there. All right, third one populated. So it'll always give you three default trial runs. And this is looking pretty darn good. It's giving you some different color options. Now, the one thing I've noticed with this one is it has seemed to slightly change the color of the carpet, which, you know, to be fair, this carpet didn't look so good. But again, that might have been a, p a point where I want to lock something from being changed. 
so there we go three and let's say that um, I realized I wanted a different style let's go with some luxury this luxury apartment with kind of brutal carpet so first of the luxury looking good so there you have it that is some examples how about we do one more where we test out the furniture removal I wanted to pick a fairly sparsely staged room with real furniture and then test out this remove existing furniture feature. So let's do that. All right, it's highlighted at all. That looks pretty good. And should we, now we'll leave that mask. I was going to touch it up, try and get it a little tighter, but this is what the system thinks is ideal. So, you know, let's let it be the expert and just go ahead and stage. So no cue, as you notice this time, it's going straight into step one of two, decluttering. Wow, like just from that thumbnail, that's pretty impressive. To see it fully removed and it did appears to be a good job of keeping lines on the floor. Now, you know, the, the color of the reflection kind of falls apart here, but I think that that's something only the most discerning eyes would really notice. Because ultimately it should be about as bright as it is here, about right here, that's okay. It's probably gonna drop a carpet over top and then put it in the bed or whatever else it does. And let's go have a look. So this is our unstaged image. We can see a little bit of a cloud kind of here where it's removed. Overall, it's, it's a pretty good job. Like look at the texture on that floor. That's pretty impressive in my opinion. That, you know, to do that by hand would take me a significant amount of time to get these, these wood lines together. So I like that. And here we go. Now this, these are some staged versions. It does seem to, again, have adjusted some colors on the walls. Interestingly, it's even making adjustments to some of the houses in the outside. Ever so slightly, maybe, but it's still making some changes. Uh, in any case, there we go. That's the furniture removal, all completed. And it removed a fairly substantial chunk of the photo and seemed to do a pretty good job of it, too. But uh, again, full disclosure, this is not a uh, sponsored video, this is not a advert, and I'm not getting anything from Virtual Staging AI aside from having been able to practice with their platform. So I really appreciate that. I hope you guys all appreciate the quick look at Virtual Staging AI. Maybe it'll help you out, create faster turnarounds for your clients. Thanks for watching.